Hi everybody. Today I'm doing a review of the FLIRC, F-L-I-R-C, which is a universal USB infrared remote control receiver. So I wanted to control my home theater PC um, with a Harmony One remote. Uh, I used the Harmony One remote for the other activities in my entertainment center. Uh, I was not able to find uh, easily uh, Windows Media Center remotes uh, since that is no longer available in Windows. They don't make them uh, that much anymore. But I did find the FLIRC remote. And uh, so this is what it looks like. It's just a USB dongle. And uh, here is a picture showing a bunch of different remotes um, and different set-top boxes that the receiver can be used with. Uh, so it needs to be a universal remote. Uh, or um, uh, a remote that um, is compatible with the list of uh, remotes um, uh, in the software. So you need to go to the manufacturer's website and download the software appropriate to your operating system, Windows, uh, iOS, or Linux. This tells you to download the installer, double click the file, and follow the installation steps, then reboot the computer. It will then prompt you to upgrade or update the firmware if it needs updating. This shows you the options available under the file dropdown. So you can save or retrieve your configurations, clear the current configuration, upgrade the firmware, etc. Here you can see the options under the controllers menu, uh, which lists out uh, different set-top boxes and different input devices and remote controls that can be used with this receiver. Uh, I selected the Microsoft Windows Media Center uh, remote controller, uh, which I'm attempting to program my uh, uh, Harmony remote to control. In this screen, I'm showing you uh, the Logitech Harmony One, uh, my Harmony software, where I'm adding the device uh, uh, to the um, uh, Harmony remote. So I'm going to add a device. Here you can see I've added the device. Uh, I selected the device called Media Center PC SE, uh, which is supposed to be, I assume, a Windows Media Center remote controller. So that's now a new device uh, available to program uh, for my Harmony remote. So under my uh, Harmony Remote's home theater PC activity, uh, I had to tell it or answer the question uh, that the Media Center PC SC was going to uh, change the channels, even though I'm not planning to change channels with it. But if I didn't say that, 
uh, none of the other buttons would function on the remote. So this, this is telling it to uh, use the remote controls buttons that I'm going to subsequently program. Going back to the FLIRC software, uh, you'll get to a screen similar to this where you'll program every button you wish to control uh, one at a time. And you'll click it using your mouse. You'll click on the screen uh, the button. So let's say I want to click the uh, play button here. Uh, that'll start flashing and I click the play button on the actual remote control. And I do that repeatedly for every button that I want to use. So I programmed my directional buttons, the enter, uh, the stop, play, fast forward, uh, etc. All these things record all the numeric buttons, uh, etc. And the go back button. Uh, these other buttons I didn't program. Uh, one other thing. I want to say is uh, this did not work properly for me and I ended up switching over to the uh, Cody remote uh, which I found uh, worked uh, better uh, with my setup. Uh, so uh, the Harmony remote was still told that it was a Windows uh, Media Center Edition controller but I told Flerk I was using Cody. So here is my Harmony remote. Um, I have three activities here uh, programmed. Uh, Roku TV, HTPC, and um, cable TV. And uh, again, not every button on here corresponded to every button on a Kodi controller, but the important ones that I need uh, are there. Uh, I can now uh, throw away the other remotes uh, when I'm using the home theater PC. Uh, when I want to log in, I can uh, access my PIN because the, the numeric keys work on the remote controller. The enter key works uh, fine. The uh, cursor, well, cursor, the up, down, left, right keys are working fine. Go back, he works fine. Uh, so, you know, it only cost me $15 on Amazon. Uh, so it was very inexpensive. It works now. Uh, I would say uh, it wasn't just plug and play. There was a bit of a learning curve there. I thought it would be a little simpler than it was. Uh, it was a little glitchy in that the... Uh, the <laughs> certain remote controls that you know such as the windows media center one didn't work properly for all the keys some keys work others didn't so it was wasn't usable that way but with the cody setup uh on the flirk end and the windows media center uh pc on the harmony end it's it's working so yeah i'm i'm happy uh <laughs> the setup's working. Do I recommend it? Well, again, uh, you know, I, I was looking for the Adesso um, remote controllers, which I used for my last two home theater PC setups, but I couldn't find them. Uh, so uh, I went this route, and it's working. I don't need another physical remote controller. I use the Harmony, and as long as I can communicate with the computer through that universal receiver, I'm in good shape. So I hope you found this uh, useful. Thanks for watching.